The following program is brought to you by the Center for Educational Outreach at Baylor College of Medicine. Well, we've already touched on serving size a little bit this morning. And the next activity that we're going to do helps students Get, develop better skills at estimating serving sizes. And I think the importance of this has become pretty clear as we've gone through the morning and we've already had a discussion of supersizing portion sizes. And the fact that every time we just are, are given something, we assume that it's one portion size, when in reality it may be several. So we have, uh, we, we, we might start this activity. I've got some food items out on the table, but before that, you might even want to ask your students first, well, what is a serving size? and get some feedback from them about what they think a serving size is. Then we're going to take them through an estimating exercise. And you have the, if you want to follow along on the, the sheet in front of you, we'll go through the instructions before we do it. But the basic question that we're looking at is, what is a serving size? How much food of liquid foods and solid foods really constitutes a serving size? So we're going to be looking at four different foods we're going to be looking at peas as a vegetable, popcorn, which is a snack food, um, oat cereal again, because we have lots of oat cereal, <laughs> and uh, a soft drink. So those will be the four foods that we'll be investigating. What you're going to do is for each food, you're going to decide without working with the food itself, just within your group, decide how much in cups you think is a serving size of that food and go ahead and write it down and uh, on, the t on the table. Then we'll give you some measuring cups, plates, and for the soft drink, a large container. Come over here to the table and actually measure out the amount that you said was one serving size. Put it on a plate and bring it back to your table and take a look at it. In our experience, I think all of you will be pretty experienced in estimating, but in our experience, students really have no clue about portion sizes, and particularly if you say how many cups of popcorn, they might write down two or three cups because they really have no mental picture of what two or three cups even looks like. So first you're going to write your prediction of what you think um, a serving size is, go out and actually measure out that amount. So if you wrote down seven cups of popcorn, you'll measure seven cups of popcorn. So do this as a group activity so you can just record your, your, your estimates on, on one sheet as a group. And do it in cups. Make your estimates in cups because, because usually what do you see on a package? Cups, half cup, one cup, two cup. Do I have to label my plate? We can distinguish. <laughs> Unless you want to call it your estimate. <laughs> okay. And another plate for the cereal. So what you have in front of you is the estimate that you made based on first what you thought it might be in cups and then you went out and measured it. Now you've had an opportunity to look at it. Um, do they look like normal portion sizes to you? Yeah. Okay, Wait, you <laughs> um, uh, too much, the soft drink looks like it was too much to you? That looks like too little popcorn? I, I was thinking if the, uh, if the Coke can says uh, one portion and it is 12 ounces, I'm considering it's going to be one cup and a half. That okay. That's why I was thinking this is too Which is interesting because does it say that 12 ounces is one serving on a soft drink uh, can? No. Uh, and I'm not saying it is. Uh, yeah. That is what I, I think based my opinion on. It says one serving. One can. Ah. And it is 12 ounces. 12 ounces. Less there you go. And it has eight that, is, that is why I consider this eight to be a two thirds of the serving. Right. Portion. At the top. Well, we're now what I. And now we go to the. Okay. Food. Now we're going to go to the food labels from the foods that you have in front of you. And so your task is now to fill in on your chart what the actual serving size 
mm. as co considered by the manufacturer to be one serving size. So go ahead and fill that in on your chart and go back and measure out that quantity again so that we can compare the actual recommended serving size by the manufacturer with what your estimates were. So let's take a look at what you estimated was a portion size and then what turned out to be a portion size based on the label information. Okay, the, the popcorn we estimated one cup and this is our estimate. The actual serving amount was three, three cups. This is the serving amount for the popcorn. The green peas we estimated um, one, third. one third cup. And for the actual serving size it's two thirds cup which is a bit more. And now for the Cheerios we estimated one cup, I'm sorry, yeah. Cheerio, no, one half, half cup. cup. And the actual serving size <coughs> is one cup, which actually doubled what we thought it would be, which is more, I guess, of an adult serving size of whatever. And the soda, we came pretty close to the estimate uh, with the actual serving size. Do you think this would be revealing for students to go through this? And I think so. Mm -hmm.